Okay, now I'm going to go through with you how to apply guess and check and how to recognize whether such question that you need to guess and check or using double stacking or perhaps triple or more stacking or maybe even table and so on so it means guess and check doesn't mean you just anyhow guess and based on your luck and try to get the answer out there is a specific tactics or strategies to narrow down your time of guessing and your energy so called conserving your energy la, so that you can able to spend more time and effort on the other question and so on first of all how to know whether such question that you need to guess and check let me show you okay first of all okay it asks you about find a number between and give you certain clue over here divided by 3 a remainder of 1 and exactly divisible by 4 okay so after you have read okay try to circle the keywords okay divided by 3 and give you a remainder of 1 divisible by 4 exactly okay so after that <coughs> find a number it gives you a lot of range that means you got 18 19 20 21 22 and so on so what exactly is the number and you can hear that so called hear that the question asking you to guess so you know that you got to guess and check use your common sense you have the common sense you got to train yourself to use it you can sense it and know what the question asking okay don't think too much it's basically a basic common sense okay so giving you the range 18 to 30 and this sentence it divided by 3 and give a remainder of 1 it have two information under one sentence over here divisible by 4 only one information Ask yourself which information easier to handle. The part that is easier, handle first. These are simple tactics. So this is easier, so you handle this. Exactly divisible by 4. You must learn how to rephrase. That's why in our Philomath training, we also teach students how to do a modification, rephrasing of the language. Okay? Exactly divisible by 4. In other words, it asking you the multiple of 4. So you just write now the multiple of 4 between 18 to 30 plus combine these two information okay so above 18 so you start from 16 followed by 20 24 28 32 is already out of 30 so we stop so we have 3 so you see so many number we crack into 3 number to do a specific guessing now we come to this part, the last part. Divided by 3. So I divided by 3. 20 divided by 3. 20 divided by 3. 6 times 3, I have 18. Remainder, 2. See? This is 1. So this is out. Wrong. Finish, go back. Finish, go back. Check. 24 24 divided by 3 8 times 3 24 24 minus 24 remainder 0 ok come down go back 1 this is 0 different wrong bring this down again 28 divided by 3 9 times 3 27 remaining 1 check it's exactly the same stop so this is the answer simple just follow the instruction go step by step use your common sense and get the answer most important you must have a confidence of yourself but not overconfidence that's why we in philomath we talk about balance okay so if you let's say you want to know more about strategies 
and want to know more about Film Maps, you may come on every Saturday or Sunday to have a casual talk with me to find out even more about Film Maps and how it can help your child to score A regardless how bad he or she have done in the past. Most important, just follow advice or simple instruction. So see you there. Thank you.